Hello everybody and welcome back. We're back. Why, why would I say welcome back? We're just starting. Welcome to the show where we play interesting chess games. That is our new tagline. That I stole from Comedy Bang Bang, the podcast, which just celebrated 500 episodes. Shout out to Comedy Bang Bang. I have no idea why I'm starting with this. This is um, an exciting program. Bam! Banter Blitz with Jan Gustafsson, where you can challenge me to a five-minute game of chess. And then we might play a lovely chess game. I might adjust my tie during. We might talk about it or about other things. Um, I believe that is pretty much the format. Sometimes I randomly dress up for these things. Sometimes I don't. But in general, Business Jan is pretty well-dressed, not like his other characters. Today, however, I am sweating like a... What's very sweaty? Um, like a gold member? He's a sweaty dude, right? The Austin Powers character? Probably it's not a gold member. But I'm sweating a lot, even though the summer is horrible in Hamburg, Germany. As usual, it's raining. I had to put on my raincoat this morning just to leave the house. It was quite frustrating. I'm sure you guys would love to hear more about me singing in the rain. But for now, let's play chess games. Because who does not enjoy the ancient game of chess invented in... I actually don't know stuff. China? India? I'm sure somebody knows. Why can't I accept anybody? Maybe I can know. Oof. I'm not quite sure who I want to play with or against. Maybe check X. Checks. <clears throat> Don't write checks that your king can't keep, is what I always say. 1e4 is not my first move, but my <laughs> normal first move. But I'm working on building up a reputation of becoming a fearsome Mora Gambit player. I have a feeling that might not happen in this lifetime, but still, one should try. Knight f6, of course, is great cowardice not accepting my genius pawn sacrifice. And um, truth be told, this is what I normally do in practice as well, because we're just transposing to a 2c3 Sicilian line. That is fairly acceptable for black and you don't have to deal or you don't have to know anything about the Mora Gambit which I don't think is fully correct but it's not as ridiculous as it looks and it does look fairly ridiculous because we're giving up a central pawn pretty much straight off the get-go how is this line CD what do you do I must admit I'm not much of an expert on this beautiful jungle that is the C3 Sicilian I know this position though, because I play it with the black pieces. And last time I checked, the most challenging setup was bishop c4, castles, and then something. Mm. People tried other stuff, but knight c3 doesn't really work. And after bishop d3, it's always a problem that you could run into some knight b4s. Mm, my tie? Why do I wear ties if it's gonna be messy all over the place anyway? That's not how it's supposed to be. B6 so early? Can you do that? Sometimes in these positions after B6 you just take on D5. I don't know if this is one of these positions, but it certainly is a legal option. Whenever black does this B6 setup. Now black has the two bishops, but his bishop on B7 is not exactly his pride and joy. Still, black is very solid. I don't think it's anything special. But it's kind of playable, I would guess. Kind of playable is really where it's at. <clears throat> What's happening? Pramod NVS says fearsome. Is fearsome a word? Did I say that? Fearsome can't be a word, Pramod. Fearsome or fierce. And more gameplay is so funny. You think I was joking? You don't think I have it in me to become the world's greatest expert on the Mora Gambit? Just wait. Um, Kaz says, my one-year-old thinks you're Anna. I guess that's a compliment coming from your one-year-old. 
I'll have a one-year-old soon. Mm. What else are we talking about? Oh, my phone is doing something. So distracting. See, Hernandez says it's usually colder than the witches and the next word was censored in Germany. What, what cold things do witches possess? A witch's breath? A witch's stare? Why would we censor those words? I do not know. Bishop f6, I was hoping for f6, bishop c7, but no one ever does me any favors. So what I will do, and this will not surprise anybody, is exchange bishops and try to dry the game out to extents previously unseen in human chess. Queen c7 could be a move here, but what I want to do is really to do the least work possible, which is my attitude both in chess and in life. Does this look weird when I sit like this? No, I think I think it's a good pose. Hang on, someone's telling me something on the Skype. If I click on it, will it appear on screen? If it does appear on screen, will it reveal compromising information? Collusion? I don't think it will. Nope. Um, rookie five, rookie five or queenie five? Hmm. Queenie five is a little sad, even for my standards. Then again, nah, queenie five it would take and go king f8. After knight d5, I might or might not win, but it did feel a little too passive. It's useful to create a little luft for tough times ahead. And now let's threaten checkmate. What is better here? I'm not sure if significantly better, but he's better because the knight is better than the black bishop. Not surprisingly. As I said, it's a very, very dull position and I have zero intentions of making it any less dull. If anything, I'm planning to dull it up even further by transferring my knight to, let's say, c5. <clears throat> However, if a cheapo appears along the way, I might go for it. Some rookie 7, knight e6. I can smell cheapos in the air. I could go for rook g5 if he takes knight e6. Of course, completely pointless. Move rook g5. But still, cheapos. Can you feel the cheap go coming? I have a feeling this show could easily be improved by not singing ever again. Knight e6, does this actually win? I would like it to win. I have to calculate, which is, and to put it mildly, my least favorite thing in the whole wild world. It's dentist is second, but calculate is clearly first. Having said that, knight e6, king g8, queen h6, f e6, queen h7, king f8. I'm not sure if I win. I obviously deserve to win, but I don't really see it. So I'll, <clears throat> I'll keep it dull. I'm not sure if you guys know what I was talking about. Knight e6, check, king g8, and queen h6, threatening queen f8, checkmate. But after f e, queen h7, king f8, I could not spot the finishing blow, because if I move my rook somewhere then, he has some counterplay with rook c1 or whatnot. So I decided against it. Rook c7, in fairness to me, myself and I, looks pretty good. Still threatening this, which is now lethal, while also pinning him along the c-file. So Mr. Check X has to pay the price for his bad bishop, which really was installed early by playing b6. As I said, b6 is solid and I'm not saying this is a mistake, but this bishop was never a particularly happy camper. And we can see the horsey, that is the expert's turn, made a much better career than the loper. <clears throat> queen e6 is of course a legal option, but I'm fairly proficient with an extra queen. Therefore, I am not sure this had to be done. 
but if Jack X enjoys it, I am not one to stand in his way. However, this check was maybe the X factor in this game, taking the rook on c7. Therefore, the game is over. Thanks for playing, Mr. Check X. Hmm. Let's beat up on some weaklings. And I mean some offense. No, of course I don't. But on this show, we don't discriminate by rating. We play everybody, including Heinrich Kressepal, who is probably new to chess, judging by his 1311. But I still take him seriously enough to put a pawn into the center and then another pawn. e6, so far so good. This is also my weapon of choice, the Nimzo Indian. After flirting with the Queen's Gambit decline for a while, I decided not going to be able to do it and I went back to the Nimzo as my main weapon. You can, I'm an open book, you can watch my video series and all the good stuff. This is also in my series, maybe Heinrich Kresspal is all booked up. This is the move that Nispiano played recently against Kremnik in Dortmund, where there's some long theoretical lines that allow black to equalize, but it has fair surprise value and leads to very sharp positions, at least after d5, e5, knight, e4, the main line. We'll see what Heinrich has in store. So far, Heinrich is very much ready for everything I'm throwing at him. Knight g4, that looks wrong. And La Roca is saying, Jan, will you be more inspired than in the past tournament? Normally, I start being a, start out the show up being very inspired and then depending on results or other factors like this crushing heat here, my inspiration levels go up and down. But for now, I'm incredibly inspired, as one should be when playing Blitz games, because what is chess without <laughs> inspiration? I can't say that with a straight face. Um, Heinrich gave me the knight. This was not a good idea, Heinrich. You should keep your, keep your horses, hold your horses. But knight g4, yeah. If in doubt, fight for the center. Not, don't go to g4. That's not where it's at. So now I have a pretty good position after knight e7 with my extra bishop. And the end is near. Hmm. Karl Nehring is with us. What's up, Karl? Switching to flag mode now? I was a queen up. Why would I switch to flag mode? What are you talking about? XX Clemens XX says, Jan, stop, wow, stop crushing people. That hurts their feelings. Does it? It does hurt my feelings when I get crushed. So probably it goes both ways. But this is the show where we play exciting chess games. It's our new tagline. So I am obliged to do exactly that. Drawbreaker is asking, suit and tie getting married again? Nah. I used to, in the early days of Banter Blitz, I would always dress very formally. <clears throat> the good old suit and tie business. Then at some point I thought, eh, it's a little more comfortable not to wear a tie. But sometimes I think, I don't really think. I just have ties lying around there. Sometimes I put one on, sometimes I don't. But I have studied the work of Sean Spicer, who apparently is no longer up there, so I have a feeling I know a lot about fashion. That didn't land, did it? Nah. Hmm, I'm, I'm not so inspired in this game, Heinrich. The problem is, when I'm a piece up, sometimes I relax a little, because I know that I'm going to win. And then the chess commentary suffers from it, even though I know that it's not clear for everybody why this position is so hopeless, so I should explain a little more. Hmm. Here I'm gonna try to checkmate you with knight to g5. And if at first I don't succeed, I'll dust myself off and try again. Queen e8 is a good defense against that. I really do not want to exchange queens. So I had to go all the way back, even though queen takes e8, of course. Still keeps my position pretty advantageous. I don't like queen e4. I'm unhappy with the overall situation already, because I have a feeling I won't be able to checkmate Heinrich in the near future, and that will upset me greatly. That plus the... 
Um, plus the what? The heat in the studio. What are we discussing? Omkar C, always full of questions, a fountain of questions. Jan, where you found Grishuk's analysis that you mentioned in game analysis video? I have no idea, I just make up stuff like he probably said that. You go prove me wrong. Having said that, no, he said that. You, you can read the news article where there, there are some quotes about the match from Grishuk and Yu Yang Yi. He's referring to an analysis video of the match. Grishuk Yu Yang Yi, which I did like yesterday. And Heinrich Kassepart resigns here, Bishop A3. Pushed him over the edge when my opposite color bishop is joining the action. Thanks for the game, Heinrich. Yeah, the opening didn't go so well there. <clears throat> Oof, I'm sleepy today. But you can't dodge the toughies forever. Um, Zilvo, certainly one of the toughies. From, from Finland? You Finnish? Yep. Zilvo from Finland, 2780. Oof, it's a big game. Let's see what Zilvo has up his sleeve. D4, not a bad move per se. The problem is. Mm, the problem is I'm out of new stuff to do. Mm, I've been playing and publishing all my Nimzo knowledge all over these shows. So recently I converted to doing some Slav adventures, but I'm not that booked up here. Still booked up, but not that booked. These e6, knight, h4 lines, they are very confusing, and I never understood who's better and why. So we'll just wing it, I guess. Bishop e4 is supposed to be a little more double-edged than the immediate bishop g6. You're provoking f3, which can be a good thing, can also be a bad thing if white crushes you in the center with a very quick e4. So you never know. <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure how this is supposed to go. I'm sure I had some games here. Mainly from the other side, bishop d2 is one main line, g3, I'm sure has been played as well. Black faces a bunch of questions like where to put this bishop, play a6 early or not, how to react to mm, provocation like rook to c1, all that stuff. I'll put the bishop here because I'm a very humble man and I don't know what to do after bishop d6, rook c1, even though maybe I had some bishop takes g3 options there. <clears throat> Let's see what Zilvo has up his sleeve. And note to self, don't blunder any C, D, E, D, knight takes D5 tricks, should he ever go rook C1. King F2, I've seen people do that as well. These positions are very complicated. <laughs> and as you can tell, knight G6 is so tempting to go F3, but I think it's just wrong. He waited to take on G6 until I had castles, which makes sense. You don't want to open the H file for my rook here. Um, so let's remind ourselves of our note to self and figure out what to do here. C, D, E, D, knight takes D5. Looks like a threat. I don't want to plunder that. Mm, what can I do? Could go rook A, C, A. Just keep the ball in play, even though it's a slightly goofy looking move. <clears throat> At some point I should consider to break free D, C, 4, followed by knight B, 6 and E, 5, or followed by an immediate E, 5. Not quite sure. And silver goes CD, which is sensible. I think that's a good change of structure. Just stopping me from all these ideas I outlined. I can't go CD because of knight d5. So I have to go ED. And to be perfectly honest with you, which is not my usual MO, but I'll make an exception. I'm not very happy with this position. Bishop h3, also a good move. So far, Silvo has been outplaying me. However, we're just getting started. I'm sure the tables can still be turned, but happy I'm not. My queen is dumb. Bishop d6, e4. All very double edged. I don't know what to do. Very unhappy. I'll go provoke e4, even though I don't know what to do about it. Mm, couldn't think of a better move. Mm. I'll just try to keep a straight face and pretend I did not miss knight to b5. 
But truth be told, I did miss knight to b5. Which is a little embarrassing, because b7 is also hanging. Why do I blunder like that? There used to be a time when I wouldn't blunder like that. Now I'm just in trouble. Bad structure. Two bishops. <clears throat> For my opponent. Does not look great. But it ain't over till it's over and it's far from over. Did, did that make sense? Yeah, I think it did. Let's see, 4 e4, or what do you want? I could go a5 just to be confusing, but no. Knight c4 looks normal. Let's not get too clever. <clears throat> And now, I need some trick. Do I have any tricks? T, E, rook, C4. Don't really see a follow-up. Don't see a trick. Huh. See my thinking face? Like pretending to suck on the cup. King d3, he's not worried about anything I throw at him. And the sad truth is, he's not wrong. D, E. Oh, do I have this? I had two, but I don't know how good it is. Oh, he can also go Effie. Effie Breast. King c4 is fine. I should have mm, controlled my instincts for trickery and deceit because this position is just bad for me. Or is it? Who knows? Does anybody really know anything? Um, e5. I have to. I don't know how to do this. I have a feeling I should not allow him to go king c5 and d5 and crush me with his d-pawn. So I probably have to do something about this. The problem, as always, is how do I win this? Should be possible not to lose it. But to win it, a5, king b6, a4, king c7, a3. That could be one way. Hmm. Very hard to win if he goes like bishop f1, bishop c4. My chances for the full point probably disappear. And that would make me very sad because I don't react well to not winning. Bishop g4, what's that about? Yeah, a4, just king b4. Fair enough. Where's the trick? Don't I have any tricks? Maybe there's just no tricks. <laughs> Don't see a trick, unfortunately. I guess it's just a draw. Even though it does make me very, very sad. will not accept a draw easily but of course it has to be a draw still he has to be careful more careful than me now at least after allowing my king to take a little trip down memory lane down memory lane i'm not making sense but we are all used to that g4 Just to confuse things, as usual. Hmm. Don't take my pawn, sir. 
I worked so hard for these pawns. Looks like he does want them. There's nothing I can do about it. Nothing I can do to change your mind about taking my pawns. Because I would really prefer to keep them. I'll be honest with you. Ah, darn it. Not a lot of hope in such a position. But of course we must try. Takes strikes me as a mistake. And Zilvo does resign. This position should be a draw. Yeah, it is a draw. <clears throat> ah, okay. What can you do? Good game, Zilvo. Yeah, he made his life a little tougher than it had to be somewhere around here. Um, where? Yeah, I don't think I was better at all. Uh, knight d4, knight e5. This should just be a straightforward draw. Ah, who knows? Anyway, thanks for the game. Yay, me, flagging Jan is back at it. <clears throat> What's this guy up to? Yeah. Abernal M. Tal, 1989. I've been told that it gets a bit repetitive if I speculate about um, his number behind the name, if it means H or rating. So I'll stop speculating. Abernal M. Tal. <laughs> Somehow when I play the opening on autopilot without thinking, recently my hand is always fianchettoing this bishop, which I'm not sure if that's a good thing for me. I think I'm more of a bishop to d3 man, like putting this bishop on g2, even though, of course, it's it has a nice view along this diagonal, and especially on non-super grandmaster level, you tend to get good positions because people don't play c6, d5 here very often, but I still, I'm not sure if this is for me. Abernal M. Tal goes c6 now, which is odd timing, because now I can go e4 and stop him from going d5. Therefore, most people after g3 go c6 directly. Hmm. Oh, is this a three-minute game? I don't like three-minute games, guys. I'm, I've told you so many times, please respect my wishes to flag Allow me to flag you in a five minute game. That gives you two more minutes until you get flagged. Because three minute games, I feel like it's just, just such, such a, see, I can't even formulate a clear sentence. It's such a sprint until I win on time. It does not give us enough time to discuss Euron Greyjoy, which is an important topic that we have to address. Don't worry, I won't spoil anything. Abernal Emtal gave me a pawn, which I normally appreciate, even though now he's starting to create all kinds of trouble with bishop to g4. And I have to start being careful to keep my extra pawn. f3, for example, would have run into queen takes d5, and that would have made me very, very sad. Hmm. Takes, takes. I believe this is a good look for me. You know what? I'll give you one pawn back. Cause it's you, Abernal. You deserve the B2 pawn. You strike me as a B2 kind of guy. You can have it. No strings attached. You don't want it? All right. Then boring end game it is. I can only offer. I can only open the door for you. You have to walk through it all by yourself. 
I think I'm slowly regressing when it comes to my ability to use, to use English idioms correctly. Like I used to be decent, but now I've gone back to just making up random phrases that don't make a lot of sense. My accent is also becoming more German again, which I'm sure you guys will appreciate because I've been told that it is one of the most beautiful accents in the whole wild world. Therefore, you must be thrilled to see that development. I know what to do. I could just take on c6 and be a bunch of pawns up. But it's a three-minute game, so I can't m hover over that decision for very long, as I would normally enjoy doing. Like weigh the pros and cons. And the pros and the cons. The highs and the lows. But none of that will happen, because we are very close to Abernal Emtal's flagation. I believe that is the expert term. Um, oh, the countdown begins. I have two extra pawns. That will probably facilitate me winning the game. I used to do that in English class. That was a bit of a, mm, a pain as a pupil. I used to speak with, with a fake, fake accent. And mm, we once had this, what do you call this? Teacher. <clears throat> I don't know. I think teacher is the correct word. Who used to say he doesn't understand. And even back then I understood that this is not good English. So I would repeat that mistake constantly and then quote her when being corrected. Yeah, I'm sure you really appreciate that story. Hmm, who shall I play? It's so hard to come up with new opponents and I have so many non-premium challenges. You have to go premium for me to consider your offerings. Boys and girls. <clears throat> and Omkar C raises a very valid question. Is clock faster when it goes below 20 seconds? Yep, once you're below 20 seconds, you only have 8 seconds left. Don't tell anybody. But that's, that's the secret behind all my flagging. <clears throat> oh, I don't know. This new, this new gambit... Gambit habit of mine will probably not be something I should sustain. Sustain, sustain. See, I'm losing it. Bishop c4. I always thought bishop c4 was slightly less terrible than knight f3. After which g5, d5, knight f6, knight e7, h6, d6 are all great. But of course bishop c4 does have its drawbacks as well. d5 is one of the many possible moves. Knight c6, knight f6 are also fine. But d5 was seen, I believe... The last time we've seen the King's Gambit at any serious level in the game between Adiban and Wesley So, is that correct? I have a feeling they might have done this to each other or against each other. I know as much about the King's Gambit as I know about Opera. No, that's actually a lie. I know more about the King's Gambit since I had to look at it from the black side every now and then. But I am not a connoisseur. I'm worried ugh, yeah, that this will tell in my play. Knight e2 is already horrible. Because he could have gone knight d5 and queen h4 check, which looked very, very scary. But he did not. So I might get away with my crimes and castle. <clears throat> Pinning. You know how I operate, even in the sharpest of openings. What I really want to do is take your pawns. But I have a feeling I should curb my greed for another half move, maybe. Should I? I don't know. I want to take. Another problem with the king's... Gambit. It seems like I have to think at a very early stage of the game.
because all these positions are so alien. Alien. Another very tough word for me. Therefore, I should not do this anymore. What are we talking about? Why didn't he play 3 queen h 4 check? 3 queen h 4 check is not considered to be the best move, even though I'm not sure that is the whole truth. Queen h 4 check, king f1 is supposed to be quite alright for <clears throat> white, as far as I know, which, as I keep saying, is not very far in the king's gambit. I'm playing strange moves, but I do want to take his pawn. I hope he allows me to. If he goes g5, I might do something more. King's gambit and sacrifice a piece with knight takes f4. And if he doesn't, I might just take on f4 without having to sacrifice anything. Which, of course, I would prefer a great. <clears throat> more input on the alien pronunciation. I don't know. I, I won't go with Alan. Hmm. <clears throat> Boom! Blitzing out knight c5. I like the king's gambit. Are you always a pawn up? Beautiful. Should do this all the time. <clears throat> I have a feeling you're normally not a pawn up. Yes, you can do this. But you're still pawned down. <laughs> now it looks like some <laughs> very dull d3 Berlin or something where I tricked him and took his e5 pawn. So yay me. Yay me Lannister. Note to self, don't get checkmated on h2. Should have written that note to self a little earlier. Because it might have cost me my extra pawn. Or at least I have to go to great gymnastics to keep it now. Because I don't want him to take my pawn on b2. So I had to play this, which frankly was not the master plan. Hmm. I'm really playing terribly. Note to self, focus. I don't know if he could have taken on c2, then I would have taken here, but all my pawns are hanging. It would probably not be an ideal outcome. Well, now. <clears throat> It is another highly interesting chess game that we're playing. Knight g3 was dumb. This knight doesn't have anything to do anywhere over there. <clears throat> because this is the show where we play interesting chess games. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, it looks like Bonhomme has some sort of plan. I do not have any such thing. What well, I do have as an extra pawn though, so that gives me some margin for error. Even though I feel like I've been pushing that margin quite a bit more than once in this game already. Time to switch sides. B5 gives me some targets, maybe some rook A6, whatever. Hmm. Somehow I've been getting outplayed ever since having that extra pawn. And it's very, very upsetting. I propose a trade. Kyrie Irving for your C6 pawn. I like to call my B2 pawn Kyrie Irving. Should I do something active? I think I'll 
<coughs> give in to boredom and do something half active. Shout out to Bonhomme, really hanging around, not making it easy for me. And you know how much I hate it when they don't make it easy for me. Give me more of your pawns, sir. What is my phone doing? Mm -hmm. This is a pin, therefore he cannot take on d4. Therefore his task became a bit of an uphill battle. And yeah, with two pawns down, Bonhomme resigns. I have to free my phone from its attempts to charge and then not charge. It's making confusing sounds, but I will be back in 12 seconds. Was that 12 seconds? I would think so. Let's play another of these chess games that we are all here to see because it's so educational to watch Grandmaster Lee thoughts in action. Like, give me that pawn. Ugh, I hope I didn't blunder the pawn back. There is a lot to this. Um, who to play though? This is the show where we play interesting chess games and I hope we can have a lovely chess game against Mr. Noah1377. Hmm. I have a feeling I should play more, more gambits. Now the king's gambit is too much though. Maybe the, what do they call this? The Scottish gambit? It's not really a gambit is the problem. And if Noah is a student of my videos, he will know that here you can play knight f6. And that sort of makes it dull and normal again. DC3 is possible, but then bishop f7 is a little better for white. As you can see, this is not a real gambit because I'm booked up here. Therefore, yeah, it's just hmm, messing around. D3, whoa. D3 takes me out of book up It looks wrong. I'll take, I guess. Maybe queen b3 was stronger. But I find it very hard to resist taking pawns whenever I'm given the chance. Now I could still go bishop f7. I'll just have a quick think if I have even better options. Like knight g5 looks interesting, but then knight e5, I'm not sure if I'm gaining in that transaction. So I'll do this. After d5, queen c5, de, I have knight g5 check. Ooh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My apologies. And we're back with potential trouble for Noah 1377 because the bishop fell. And his king is still out in the great wide open. Even though I don't see any direct paths. Paths. What's the plural of path? Path? To victory. Queen d5 is always coming out. It's quite solid. Very upsetting. What to do? Uh, let's give a little check. And now, how do we do this here? I want to somehow win by going knight f6 check, but I am not sure if this order is better than starting with knight f6 check, king somewhere, queen f3. Still not sure. Still not sure. Nah, I don't see anything special. Guess I'll just have to castle. Knight f6 check, king f7, and I didn't see a good move. Cast is pointing out that pathetic is the plural of path. That sounds unlikely, if you ask me, but 
but I'll trust you. Mm. Can we make this more exciting? Probably not. Probably I should not go all that crazy. Queen g3 looks like a good move. If he takes, I take. And the going gets a little tougher for Mr. Noah. Well, now it seemed like a good idea to develop the bishop. Then maybe give a little check. Cash in. Let me win is saying time to develop other pieces. Thanks, let me win for the help. But in fairness, I only read your comment after playing bishop g5. So I still like to think that I would have found it myself. Who knows though? What other pieces do we have? Like there's not so many pieces I could throw into the battle. And I'm getting very upset as usual because Noah 1377 is playing well. He does not just let me win because of my grandmasterliness. Which is really how chess should be played. Just compare titles. Ah, oh, you're a grandmaster, congratulations, you won. But people don't feel that way. And instead they put up stubborn resistance, like Noah here. I'm starting to bungle this actually. If I um, keep messing around, maybe it's already too late. Maybe I already messed up. Because my pieces are all over the place. I haven't developed a lot of them. H6 might already win material. Noah, this is your chance. This is a once in a banter time opportunity to win a chess game against a Grandmaster. Which would upset me greatly. So you have to weigh the odds if you think that's worth it. But if you think it is, I have a feeling my position is extremely dodgy. H6, bishop H6 and something. Don't like it much. Hmm. Hmm. Whoa, knight f3 check? Can you do that? I don't see how that would work. Why would you think that works? Noah 1377. So aggressive. What have I done to deserve such treatment? Thing is, you would need bishop h3 and then queen g2 check without me doing anything about it. Which wasn't gonna happen. So knight f3 check, yeah. You were right to feel this is the moment to get something done. But the execution lacked precision, as they say. Do they say that? They should say that. Why is this tie not remotely staying where I want it to be? Very upsetting. The commutator says rook d1 looking for queen f1 was maybe an idea. Yeah, but I would have spotted that and played knight d2. Therefore, I don't know, I have a feeling h6 was the way to do this. Mm. Well, this, or this, as I should say, is not much fun for Noah's sight. Like, is the way this game developed from his perspective, can we call that Noah's arc, or does that not make sense? Come on, that wasn't so bad. I'm sure people called Noah have never heard jokes of that nature before, which makes them extra funny. Let's go home. Hmm. <clears throat> Where is the checkmate? Or where is the check, comma, mate? I'll pre-move this. There's nothing you can do to convince me not to go. Queen takes e7. And we've made it to Flagville. Noah says, oh no. But in fairness, even without flagging, I quite like my chances here. I could be wrong, but I had the feeling I was doing quite well. 
And Carnicero says, just arrived, did I miss anything? There's nothing to ever miss here, Carnicero. What would you have missed? I want some games, some some by flagging, some by, nah, actually, all by flagging. Um, I spoke in a German accent. That's, that's the show, really. Hmm. I should probably play one. One more game. No, more than one more game. But I should probably play. Continue playing is what I'm trying to tell myself. That's very hard to do. Let's play against cats. Cats, cats? Cats, cats? Hmm. Today is a show where we play interesting chess games by employing gambitos. Against the French, I don't know any gambits against the French. I'll just play main lines. Ugh, I hear at least there's this stuff. DE4 spoils the fun though. Against bishop e7 or bishop b4, I could gambit it up. But in this line, I don't know any gambits. GF4, um, bishop f6 are both possible. This stuff I do not know, Kaz. You out prepared me. Where do I put my pieces? Queen e2, maybe? Does that make sense? What I want to do is castle and then go d5 and then checkmate you quickly. You can probably stop me from doing so. But I would appreciate if you didn't. Ugh, bad timing. Now b4 is coming. Before I checkmate him. <laughs> Pun. Mm. That's unfortunate. B4 looks like an annoying move. Mm. C6 is kind of in the spirit of the position, um, meaning that he does not allow me to checkmate him quickly with D5. But I still thought B4 was more unpleasant to meet. Because now, I don't know, I should be doing all right, I guess. Even though I don't really feel at home in these E4 positions, probably never will. It's like learning a language. If you don't learn it as a kid, these E4, these random French Sicilian positions, it's much harder as an adult. You try to figure it out by using logic. But we all know that chess has nothing to do with logic. It's just... You have the instincts, and I have good instincts when it comes to um, minority attacks on the queen side and some boring queen's gambits. But I don't have very good instincts in sharp French or Sicilian positions. Having said all that, I will checkmate Kaz, Cousin Kaz, somehow. But it won't be because of my deep understanding. Mm. G4? Let's go G4. What could go wrong? There's not a lot of defenders. A bit like Westeros. If F4, I'll probably go G5. And after F3, checkmate should be somehow manufactured. Queen G4, should E4, Rook G1, whatever. Something's gonna give. Lord of Swords is asking, do we get anything if we beat Jan? Yes, you get some warm words, probably some thinly veiled accusations that you're a dirty cheater, because else how could you beat the chess genius that is Jan Gustafsson wearing a tie? Um, I believe that's pretty much all there is. Oh yeah, and some rating points. Knight d7, can I take this? Well, I don't like gf actually. Kaz is outplaying me, or outplaying me is strong, but he played better than me over the curse of the last two moves. The curse or the course? Probably the course. It's the curse of Monkey Island, but that's a completely different thing. Now I outplayed him over the course of the last move, though, because he gave this check, which was wrong. 
Therefore, I'm back in the driver's seat. Which probably I never left. Hmm. King H8. This is not a strip show. I'm just taking off my tie. Because even though I watched Magic Mike, I still don't feel like completely convinced that I could embark on a career as a male stripper. Um, or a female stripper for that matter. I don't think I could do either. Having said that, the Bond villain career, I still feel, is up for grabs for me. I could, like, invite Mr. Bond to my private island of Yanistan. I haven't picked up by my, my shady speedboat driver assistant. Um, that's all I got so far, but I feel it's pretty good material. Why is this game still going? Why are you so resourceful, Kaz? Cousin Kaz. I don't like it. I don't appreciate resourcefulness in a person. I'll try to somehow attack him. And yes, I did calculate every single detail there is. There is no salvation cast. Queen takes e5, I thought, was critical. But then bishop e4, h6, queen f7, just one. Therefore, it did not look like it would help either. Um, no, uh, I still don't know how to win. I'm starting to get very frustrated about this game. And Kaz is saying, must be better with two Bs. Is that irony or... I don't know. Must be worse without one K, I would guess. Not sure. C5, counterplay. Will I ever get the job done in this game? I have a feeling will just this game will just last forever. Until one of us falls asleep. Oh no, I'm gonna win on time eventually. That is the good news. I forget that at some point I always win on time. Hmm. <clears throat> First, you don't succeed, dust yourself off and flag again, flag again. Are we getting there? Oh, so close, no matter how far. Another victory on time. It should be my goal to win every single game in a Banta Blitz on time, but it's hard to control. Whoa, 2954? You kidding me? You for real? <clears throat> oh, I think I lost to this dude before, didn't I? I think I did. 2954. Big champion of chess, Sir Pounce. Mm, is Sir Pounce still alive? I don't think he is, is he? <clears> hmm. <throat> Bishop f4 or bishop g5 are, of course, better moves, but against Sir Pounce, I prefer to pounce while the iron is still dry. Not hot, but dry. Now, what do we get? I'm trying to transpose into some dull line of the Queen's Gambit declined, minority attack, business, e3, bishop d3, short castles, and so on. And I'm not sure if Sir Pounce can stop me from doing so. He can try some knight e4, maybe. 
that. I'm not sure if he will succeed. Bishop g4, that is legal, but is a good plan, I'm assuming, is to go bishop h5, bishop g6, but here after bishop h5 I would take. So I'm not sure if he's in time to do that. Take on f6 and on h7, I mean, here isn't this, isn't this a question at least? It's a question that should be addressed. I'm not sure if it's good, but addressed it should be. Sometimes you can take these things and go knight d7, give the pawn, and get a pawn back on e5. But we'll think about that when we get there. When we ever get there. See you when you get there. H6. Can you do that? <laughs> Looks like he can't do that. Okay, should I stop staring at the position and make some move? Probably should. But which move? Or should f4? Not clear. Looks like all these moves sort of allow him to equalize, which would be very sad. I don't have a trick. Don't see it. Hmm. Or hang on, maybe de is a move. Should e6, very tight. What does he want? Knight h5? Sometimes we should pause and ask ourselves, what does he want? I think he does want knight h5, so I should probably stop it. <laughs> yeah, nothing special going on. h3 had the drawback that it's a little harder to get the pawn center going with what do you call this? F3, E4. So I'm going to switch plans and go F4, but yeah. Nothing out of this world. Knight H5, maybe. Who knows? Knight E8, same idea. He wants to go F6. Hmm. I have to castle eventually. Um, I don't like to take here. Well, what can you do? Black is just fine. <clears throat> I don't think he's better, but I also don't think I'm better. I think no one's better. But I need to think of something to do. Maybe he is better, actually. It's easier for Black to come up with a plan like put all your pieces on the e-file, then for me, at least I don't see a good plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the absence of good plans, what one should do is fish for cheap tricks. Do I look like a Conqueror of cheap tricks. You really want to go c5? Nah, you're just pretending, right, Pouncy? And he refuses to be checkmated, which I find a little upsetting. But unfortunately, I can't force him to be checkmated. Or maybe I can, but that is often the key discussion of a chess game. Can you force your opponent into being checkmated or not? Now we go c5, looking for some counterplay. Fair enough. I guess I should take. Put the horsey here and see what is going on. Weird position, I have no clue. Who's better and why and anything. Mm. For now, just continue to blitz out random moves. That is how chess should be played. 
Right, C4, provoking me. Don't push me, cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. Uh, uh, uh. I wish I could calculate, but not going to be able to do it. Rook H6 still doesn't really work, does it? No. Even though I'd like it to, not going to lie. Would be nice if it did work. But it doesn't. Then things have gone a little wrong here. G6? Really? Can you do that? Takes queen h7. Very upsetting if this works here. Mm -hmm. mm. Ugh, I wish I could calculate. I really do. Can't figure anything out. <clears throat> no, this was just a strange move to make, I guess. But also got to speed up a little from now. Uh -huh. Looks like things turned out okay. Is this a perpetual? I don't want you to give a perpetual. It would be most unpleasant if you gave all these checks. So I stopped that by queen c7 and it's hard to queen the pawn. Yeah, tense game against Sir Pounds. I have no idea what was going on. He's a pretty strong player that much. We can tell. Thanks for the game, sir. Let's play against Ari. Hmm. Sorry, I didn't do so much commentary there in the end. But low, low on time when I win, you know. You know the deal. <clears throat> What's Ari up to? And since today is Gambit Day, I'm willing to play the Banco Gambit, just so you know. But nowadays most people decline it. Everybody plays queen c2 or something like that. Taking all the fun out of the bankoing. I have no idea what to do against queen c2, but I've noticed that seems to be the official online move. What do you do? You go b4? I honestly don't know what to do. b4 looks strange. Hmm. Probably bc is more critical. Yeah, bc actually looks like a better move now that I think about it. But what to do? So sick, you wanna you wanna be a gambiteer, then they just you know occupy the center, don't care about your pawn offerings. Very unfair.
Yeah, no, I guess Y is a little better here with his extra space. I will throw in this before he goes H3, just so the bishop can't stay on this diagonal, where it normally is doing well, supporting E5 breaks. It'll be hard to open the position. Maybe I can push my A-pawn and something good will come out of that. Deep uh, Benko, Benko insights here. He goes a3, that makes it a little tougher to push my a-pawn. Or does it? a5, a, b, c, b, is that a bad transformation for me? Probably not great. So I'll go knight a6, rook b8, and fish for counterplay here. Kalnering is finally starting to learn. He's saying, move first, think later. That is the secret to being a successful blitz player. Take the thinking part out of it. Just blitz out some move. Go b3, boom, hope for the best. Now we think, queen b3, rook b8, and take back on b2. Should be okay. <clears throat> queen d2, we go knight b4. Should be okay. There you go. Who needs all that thinking, Carl? It's much overrated, and that's why people always lose on time in all these blitz displays because they think too hard. Um, I don't know what to do now. Here maybe, boom. I'm out of coffee. Mm -hmm. Just telling you guys, we have a situation here. We no longer have coffee. Do I have any like drinkable, drinkable assets, liquid assets in the studio? Doesn't look like. Hmm, rook a3, hmm, let's somehow checkmate him. Hmm. I did inform you about my intentions, Ari. I want to somehow checkmate you. Ideally, bishop e5 and then something on h2. But I would accept other forms of checkmatery as well. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I guess 92 has to be played. Then I don't see a checkmate yet, but uh, I'll still try. Queen h3, maybe. Knight g3. Uh. No checkmate. So sad. It's a sad, sad situation. Maybe queen f6 is clever to 92. Just keep an eye on the b2 pawn as well. Could be. f4? Why did I think f4 was not possible? Did I think that? I think I thought that. Maybe it's possible. Check, check. Goes back. No, I was probably right, thinking it's not possible. Because now, after queen d3, knight f4, knight h3, is a bit of a problem. We can even pre-move this. And it's always important to pre-move, just for effect. Thrifty is saying a lot of nudity and explicit in the first couple seasons. What am I missing? Am I what, missing TV show with naked people? Because it's so hard with the internet to get access to naked people. So if there's something on TV, I need to know. Uh, Thrifty is asking, did we talk about Game of Thrones yet? Yeah, I've seen, I'm up to date. Um, the second episode was published on my Amazon where I watched stuff yesterday. Um, but I decided not to spoil it yet, because some of you might not be up to date. Mm. Let's play another game.
Um, it looks like we're back. I randomly, instead of accept another challenge, I clicked on end the stream. Because they look so similar, I guess. Or because I'm slowly going insane. Could be either. Let's play against Spills. Spills been around forever, right? We've played a couple games, but I have a feeling not recently. I could be wrong though. However, it does not hurt to crush Spills once in a while. Put him in his place, because you all know how Spills gets when he has any success. Having said all that, I am joking. I have no idea how Spills gets. Probably full of Spills. And we're transposing to a line that is surprisingly popular at the highest level currently. This d4, knight f6, knight f3, d5, e3 has been played a lot. People normally play e6 instead of c5, but I'm not quite sure what is wrong starting with c5. And we'll see if Spills can spill the beans here. <clears throat> he wants to take my pawn, which is not technically illegal, but it's a little unfair. You have to admit Spills. Just trying to take my pawn, and then not give it back. It's not exactly gentlemanly. But I guess it's a little too late to teach you about right or wrong and Cheech and Chong. And I did win my pawn back. We have a very weird situation. I'm familiar with this position with reverse colors where obviously <clears throat> colors would be reversed and white would have an extra move. But I still think this is a promising line even with a tempo down. The pawns on c4 and d5 are typically stronger than the ones on a4 and b5. <laughs> Can I like try to win one of your pawns, Spilzy? I'm not sure. Maybe he finds it offensive if I call him Spilzy. And I don't want to offend Mr. Spills. I also don't see how to win any of his pawns, to be perfectly honest. Which is very sad. But I have not given up the dream of taking all your pawns. Focused face to calculate queen a5, rook a5, knight c3. But I haven't gotten anywhere. I'm trying to figure out where my king should go. e7 might look more natural, but then knight d4, knight c6 check. Maybe it's one of those get the king out of the way situations. No matter what. Knight d4 anyway though. Weird position. Spill's playing well. Mm, not giving it up. Rook a8, knight c6. Can you get away with all that? Is that how chess is played nowadays, Spills? Maybe it is. Hm. I missed this move. It's very sad and very upsetting. Castles was dumb. He can't put the king so far away from the pawns. I think that was a crazy decision. Okay, once the self-loathing is over, I should come up with some constructive idea. Hmm. Don't see it, to be perfectly honest. Nope, don't like any of this. But I can't see anything better. Hmm. was <clears throat> overreacting I would guess knight a5 knight c3 I was hoping after b6 I would somehow stick around but it was a crazy decision I'm gonna lose to spills it's the spills that pay the, pay the bills which is true he is a premium member but I'm still upset I'd like to go king f8, but then knight c6, rook b7, rook a8 is a bit of a problem. So I have to figure out something else to do. c5, 
So many problems. Hmm. Where does this knight want to go? D6? Still looking for a way to confuse Mr. Spills, but so far he seems unflappable, unspillable. Sorry, I'm so quiet, I'm just looking for tricks. And the trying to spot cheapos requires all my attention here. But I have a feeling there's not that many tricks, unfortunately. Um, I would need to go e5, d4, but that's hard to manufacture. e5 weakens the d5 pawn so much. Mm -hmm. So what to do? Let's have moves. I've also been slow, but the slowness situation can normally be corrected by playing faster. That is something I've learned over the years, that you can start playing more quickly if you're low on time. And I do know you guys are watching these shows for these little tidbits of knowledge that you don't find anywhere else. Deep grandmasterly insights learned in many years of banter blitz practice. Hmm. As for the position, I don't think I'm better. I'm not sure if I'm still worse, but I am sure I'm not better. E4, ugh, ugly move. Getting him this square for the knight. I don't know why I did that. I want to go knight f5, and then I somehow thought let's fix the pawn first, but that was a crazy decision. G4 looks like a crazy decision as well. But you know how it is, we're reaching the low on time phase of the game. <clears throat> Where you try to grab as many pawns as you possibly can. At least, that's my advice. Take all them pawns. Oh, shouldn't pre move that. See, <clears throat> could be awkward after. <clears throat> Different night moves. Run! Kingy. I like to call him Kingy. <clears throat> Drama, baby. This knight does a pretty good job, like defending everything there is. <clears throat> Spills is making the old mistake. He's trying to flag the flagger. The president of Flagville, Tennessee, Flagstaff, Arizona. Um, and yeah, that didn't work out. Oh, yeah, sorry, Spills. Spills was winning earlier on. Tricked me in the opening after I played 
I think I made two bad moves here, but castles feels very wrong to me. After knight d4, sort of panicked, gave this exchange. I saw this whole sequence, but I still, yeah, couldn't think of anything better. But, you know, gotta keep making moves. And that I did. All right, one last game until we can all go to do something productive with our lives. Watch Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, that's the only productive thing I can think of. Let's play against double X Clemens double X. <laughs> Why not triple X? Like, if you are Clemens and you feel like you want to be surrounded by your exes, which most people, they don't want to stay friends with their exes. That's what I've been told. But Clemens likes to have all his exes next to him all of the time. He plays the London, as everybody does nowadays. And in my video series I gave E6, but I have a feeling Clemens is a diligent student of all the video series. Therefore, I'll try to get him out of it by going for this, which is another playable system. At least I think I thought, I think I thought it was playable. Mm -hmm. Queen b3, queen c8, knight h4 here was sort of a, sort of a line. If you don't do that, then black should just be fine. We should be five. I have to think. Ugh, I have to think again. Should d6 looks safest. <clears throat> but not sure. Let's both castle. Bring our kings into safety. There is no need for the kings to witness the following massacre. I've learned from Game of Thrones that often if kings go into battle themselves, they don't come back. Stannis Baratheon, technically it wasn't a king, I would guess. All the kings, all the kings in the north. Risky endeavor. It's better to sit back, relax, have a bunch of pawns shelter you, and see what happens. And see what happens, I have a feeling I say a lot. Even though normally I don't want to see what happens. What's Flaxstein? Sarah is saying 99 problems and that B pawn is one. I was tweeted they've played 99 moves and C6 ain't gone. But people didn't appreciate it. Like, <clears throat> it's a new generation out there. The Jay Z references. You think these kids they're listening to Jay Z 444? I don't think they are. What are the cool kids listening to nowadays? I'm so out of touch. Is Kendrick Lamar, is he, is he a cool guy to listen to? Or is it all like these? What's it called? Travis Scott, stuff like that. I don't like this new Drake-inspired style of hip-hop. This half singing, half rapping thing, it confuses me greatly. This position does not confuse me as much. I'm slightly better and I will keep making moves until the wheels come off. Rook FC8 was a bit careless because it allows DC. Um, <laughs> Life goes on. Point is dc, queen c5, he has knight d7, which I did not appreciate from afar. So I probably have to go knight c5, which, yeah, it's not ideal. But what to do? c4, so aggressive. I've lost all thinking ability. 
thinkability for short. Yeah, I can't think anymore. Literally. Good thing this is the last game because I am no longer able to calculate a single line. Queen d4, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Cd5, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Any other move, I'll probably take the knight. But Cd and Queen D, I have no clue how to handle. Here maybe. Ugh, chess is very complicated. That's the problem with chess. It's very hard to like make good moves consistently. At least for me. For me. <laughs> is another strange move. Just in case. Hmm. Big champion of chess, Clemens. Go away. Are you for real? Are you just a big champion of chess? Is that what's happening here? Don't be wasting my precious time. Bishop b4, another weird move. I can't think anymore. This is my excuse and I'm willing to stick to it. Nothing that I have done or will do in this game makes any sense. Go away. There you go. H6 made sense, I apologize, because I had a feeling that H4 was coming. I want my bishop to stick around, cover that guy. Am I, did I finally win on time? That is literally and figuratively, even though I don't know what figuratively winning on time would be, but it is my only goal. I want to flag XX Clemens XX until he says, you know what? I am no longer friends with any of my exes. Let's make it a little more dramatic by opening our own kingside so that once the going gets tough, the tough can get going. As I said, I'm not planning to make sense in this game at all. That is my excuse. And I'm going with it. Queen e6 check, I'm sure, was strong. <sighs> and Clemens says, thanks for the game, but then doesn't resign. That's very confusing, Clemens. Are you resigning or are you not resigning? He said it before, so I relaxed mentally. Then he played queen e3 and I had to dust myself off and make another random move. Um, thanks for the game, Clemens. I'm sorry I went brain dead there. I had a feeling you played very well. That brings us to the end of today's show. Next time I will try to speak in less of a German accent, but I might fail. Thank you guys for, for watching. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Maybe you want to go to the cinema. I heard Dunkirk is very good. I heard um, Baby Driver is very good. It's about a young driver. I also heard... No, that's all I heard. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. I'm off to Norway for a couple days. Just a couple days. I'll be back next week. And we will have more pleasurable banter blitzes while we are waiting breathlessly for the Sinkfield Cup and the St. Louis Rapid Tournament to begin. After that's the World Cup. It's gonna be some action-packed chess month. Chipmunks. And we will see plenty of each other. See you guys soon.